Mathewson, and this is Othniel's grave right here. Um, he's the oldest recorded, as far as we found so far, uh, property owner here in, um, in this uh, part of Primrose. Um, Othniel was born in 1705 uh, in Providence. Uh, he was the son of Daniel uh, Matheson and Sarah Inman. So there's your Edward In Inman uh, connection. Um, he married Sarah Windsor, who was the great uh, she was the great granddaughter of uh, Roger Williams. So. Uh, Back, back in 1705, the colony, the Rhode Island colony, especially up, uh, you know, in Providence, if you discount what was, uh, um, you know, New, Aquidneck Island, Newport, Middletown, and Portsmouth were Rhode Island. Providence Plantations was was the, the, that port, uh, portion of the colony that was on the mainland. So, so anyway, um, it wasn't a big population. Um, and the Inmans and the uh, Maury's uh, came out of Providence and, and uh, 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 bought property here in North Smithfield, as we talked about uh, earlier. Uh, Sarah Windsor, uh, daughter of Joshua, was uh, again a uh, descendant of Roger Williams. In 1774, the census showed that uh, there were five members of um, Hop Neal's household. Um, and one of those was black. Um, there are other, we can go over afterwards, but you can see gravestones on the hillside over there, uh, uh, fieldstone markers. And uh, I think those were probably uh, slave uh, graves over there. So, uh, but not quite sure. Uh, in 1790, there were only three members of the household. We'll go over and, uh, after this and, and I'll show you the ruins of, of their, uh, the foundation for their house. Um, Othniel died in 1806. Um, his uh, powers, uh, according to his uh, obituary, his powers of mind, he retained uh, their integrity to the last, a noble monument for the blessings of temperance. By a rigid adherence to that salutary mode of life, he survived one century. Uh, uh, respected and beloved, while well, thousands during that period who have neglected it have been hurried into poverty unpitied, and at, uh, at last to a death unlamented. So, uh, um, so he wasn't a drinking man. Uh, he lived uh, to be uh, what a hundred and uh, uh, what did I say? Hundred and. Oh, didn't. 1806, yeah, 101 years old. So that's a pretty good life for somebody back back in those days. Um, <clears throat> we know from, from various deeds that Othniel bought a, a lot of property. Uh, basically, um, he owned all of, from up where we started, all of the property up uh, the Grange Road over to the, to the south uh, where the Goodwins Farm is now. Um, over up to the north, up to Winsaka Hill, so um, a good amount of good amount of property. Um, besides, uh, so uh, Joe's uh, Othniel's son Joseph, which I believe, I believe that's Joseph's. Uh, is there a flag? Should be a flag next to that, but um, I believe Joseph. This is Joseph's uh, um, seniors grave right here. Uh, he was born here in Primrose in 1748. He was the youngest son of Othniel and Sarah. He married Betty Brown who 
was the daughter of Nicholas Brown and granddaughter of Chad Brown. Um, uh, I don't know if uh, Chad Brown rings a, rings a bell, but uh, he was a, a colonel during the Revolutionary War. There's a, 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 a section of problems. It used to be the Chad Brown Project. I don't know what, but uh, anyway. But, you hear that no there. The, uh, there um, Joseph's homestead was on the current Fort Wildlife Refuge. That's a little bit to the north of here. Um, he served, uh, Joseph served, uh, served seven tours of service during the Revolutionary War. One was a three month, the, the first one in uh, uh, 1766 was a three month uh, enlistment. And then uh, he served a, a one month enlistment every year after that up until 1781. Um, and that was that was common for the Rhode Island militia back then. Um, you, you'd serve for a month um, and then go back to back home to work and and uh, take care of uh, your property. Um, but his his uh, and the militia would uh, would when they were formed up uh, would uh, go down to uh, um, either. Um, Quidnick Island, where the, the British had had occupied the, uh, the island during the war, um, or um, along along the coast, and, and served as a as a ready reserve in, in case the British tried to advance out of Newport. Uh, so Joseph had uh, uh, many children, but uh, of note, the ones that stayed here in Primrose. Uh, and uh, contributed to the to the expansion of the, the little I want I don't want, want to call it a village but the area the population here in this part of town Elizabeth uh, was born in Primrose in 1781 and she married Stephen Sheldon uh, she died here in uh, 1868 and she was buried somewhere down in here I believe. She and Sheldon uh, had several children as well. Anna Sheldon uh, married Thomas Andrews. Uh, the Andrews family was was was, a, was another uh, family that was prominent here in Primrose uh, years ago, um, and uh, the and uh, they get their name to the school district in this part. There were 11 school dis districts in in uh, Smithfield back in the back in the day where. Where right now, that's uh, we'll talk about the Andrews School a little bit later, but that that brick building over on the other side of the road. Uh, so um, they're buried. She and Thomas are buried here. I don't know. She and Thomas are buried in. Uh, I'm sorry. She and Stephen are buried here. Their their daughter um, Anna Sheldon um, and uh, Thomas Andrews are buried in Union Union Cemetery. Uh, another daughter, Eliza uh, Sheldon, married George Lee. Uh, they la later moved to the, uh, and owned the Joseph Matheson uh, um, homestead, uh, again over there at the Fort Wildlife Refuge. Um, El Eliza and George are, are buried down at the, the bottom of the cemetery down here. Welcome Sheldon uh, was a farmer. Uh, his uh, great-granddaughter, um, Ethel Sheldon married Frank Goodwin um, and if you're from the area you're familiar with Good Goodwin's farm which has been over here uh, across the street for uh, several decades uh, century I guess now um, so that's kind of how all of the uh, uh, a lot of the names that are that are currently here in, in Primrose uh, where they came from and and how the family's in, intermarried. Um, Marianne Matthewson married um, uh, Herman Hall. They, uh, they're buried down here as well. Um, uh, Emma uh, Matthewson married David Elliott. They're buried down here. And, um, and Joseph Matthewson Jr. Uh, and his wife are buried here as well. Um, I think. Okay, so um, 
And the last uh, daughter we'll talk about, um, uh, just a little bit I'll mention, was Rebecca Matheson, and she married Louis Follett, but uh, we're gonna talk about uh, she and Louis uh, at, a, uh, at a, uh, one of our next stops, so I won't get too much into that. Uh, and uh, the Follett's are not buried in 